start us off with talking about probably the most important aspect of listening, listening to yourself. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Um, first, is there a clock somewhere just so I, I'll try to keep track of time? I'll keep track. Okay. Um, so, hi, everyone. It's pretty cool to see this crowd. Um, I actually live in Santa Monica, um, right in the canyon. Um, and I now have an office here, and my husband is actually one of the managing directors at Clearstone Venture Partners. Um, so, you know, it's nice to actually see, you know, this tech community that's growing um, here in L.A., in Santa Monica, in Venice. Um, and it's just exciting to see that. Um, so, kudos to everyone here. Um, I have a company called Intent.com. Um, which I've really grown in a very grassroots way over the last few years. Um, it's inspired by my personal background and story. Um, some of you may be familiar with my father. He's the well-known Dr. Deepak Chopra. And I grew up, um, I learned how to meditate when I was nine years old. And um, grew up in an environment where we were taught to listen to ourselves. Um, one of the things my dad used to have my brother and I do after we meditated was to repeat the following phrase. And it goes, I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience and set the goals I will achieve. And everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for and receive as I have asked. And after we'd say this um, out loud, um, I was probably like 10 and my brother was 7. Um, my dad would ask us, okay, what do you want? And we would obviously say tickets to the Celtics game, a trip to Hawaii, uh, an Atari game, which shows our age now. And um, he'd listen patiently and he'd say, okay, um, but what about asking for love, connection, hope, love, spirituality? And so we were taught at a very young age to ask for these qualities in our life. And I've had kind of a very interesting uh, work career. I've had some amazing opportunities, one of which um, was to launch MTV in India. I was the first person to launch MTV in India. And I've kind of come through this, um, that's a whole other story which I've spoken about at other one pro conferences, but you know, I've kind of reached a stage in my life um, where I really can now think about what do I want? What do I want for myself? What do I want for my family, for my community, and for my world? Um, and so I believe that social media um, is a very powerful way um, for us to find inspiration and connection, um, to discover more about ourselves, but also to connect with people wherever they may be in the world. So, you know, one of the things we've seen on intent.com is when people share their intents. Um, and I define intents as people's deepest desires. Um, when they share their intents, um, they discover that people on every corner of the planet share similar intents. We all are seeking love, we're all seeking connection, happiness, a connection to spirit. Um, and my intent to be a good mom is something that I share um, with a mother, whether she's in Mozambique or South Africa or Paris or Sydney, Australia. And so if we can connect on shared intents, um, hopefully uh, we can learn from each other and be inspired by each other. So I invite everyone here um, to visit intent.com. Um, Jeff has been um, a big supporter and champion. And I think Jeff, and I'm sure you may hear throughout uh, the day here today or evening here today, um, you know, Jeff is a great example of someone who set um, the intent to make change in his life. Um, and Jeff, we're over 100 pounds now. 110 pounds um, that he has lost. Um, and so <laughs> we really cannot have a better poster child um, for someone um, who set an intent at a very deep level um, to make change um, and then made that happen. So I think to start off the evening, um, I thought we can uh, do a little exercise together, um, do a very short, um, non-intimidating uh, meditation. And um, it will really be like a minute long, but I'd like everyone um, to close your eyes. 
and get off of Twitter. <laughs> um, so this is our time to connect with ourselves, to listen. And what I'd like you to do is, as um, for the next few minutes, as you breathe in, mentally say, I. And as you breathe out, mentally say, M, A-M. So I, M, I, M. And for the next few seconds, just continue to say I, M. Now, as you continue to say I am, I'm going to ask a few questions. Don't feel the need to answer the questions. Just experience them and focus again on I am. Who am I? Who am I? What do I want? What do I want? How can I serve? How can I serve? Now you can stop saying I am. Take a few deep breaths. And whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes. So in this busy, crazy world where we are always connected and there's so much noise, um, I ask people um, to set the intent to listen. I think it's a great theme. Listen to yourself. Ask yourself what you want. What are your unique talents? How can you use those unique talents to serve? To serve yourself, your community, and humanity. Thank you.